Off of the Rafaela, they can ha have a good lane with that. Then they, this also means that the Nathan will be the jungle. So now Onyx Esports, um, it's a complete uh, flip of the switch. No longer aggressive as compared to game number one. This time they are going to play it slow. For the side of Blacklist though, it's going to be a very quick tempo with them. Paquito in the offlane, Yama Tilda and Cho as the supporting duo with the Kimi. They are going to push and it's going to be up to Farsa. Drian once again with his specialty pick. He has to be very smart with the usage of his ultimate, otherwise it's going to be easy to push for Blacklist International. It is not looking good right now, honestly. Again, Onik, they need to stick to that one win condition front to back. Esmeralda, I feel at this point, he might just need to go full tank instantly agree, right now. Because this is what we've seen before as well in Indonesia. The Esmeraldas have been building full tank in these style of compositions. And if they do go for the damage on the Esmeralda, I feel like it is going to be too much. Because look at the early game from Blacklist. That is one scary early game, man. But Matilda Airlines taking us to Lana Dawn. Well, it is time. This is it. Elimination or game three for Onyx Esports here. It's going to be... Oof. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is, is Keyboy in trouble here? Haji is already going straight in for him. Double flicker coming up. Oh, head finding the first blood. Even before introducing the team's blacklist, wanting to finish this off quick. Oh, Keyboy. brutal. Keyboy really overstepped in there. I would say it was far too deep, and I think that he wanted to kind of stop the Kimi from jungling. The thing is, Matilda was on the case already. And he did not respect that at all. Again, this is a mid lane, um, mid lane Cho, who's actually level three at this point. Might have taken one jungle creep away from Onyx Esports. We're not so sure. Yeah, this is interesting. They're gonna get a quick level four for Haji as soon as possible as they continue to start harassing him. Keyboy doing a good job, just you know, trying to make sure that he makes yeah. up for the initial mistake. Babysitting Sans so far to make sure that Oh My Venus doesn't harass him too hard. But Wise, on the other hand, continuing his absolute onslaught here. Gonna be uh, trying to. Oh, I think he's trying to get Boots low enough to yeah. set up for a potential dive yeah, more importantly. That's exactly what's happening right now. They're zoning away Boots from that gold, from that XP lane. But Rihanna's gone. You see that almost all of the lanes are getting uh, were won by Blacklist International, and that's not very natural for this composition. Their lineup is tailored towards the early game. What they needed to do is just to clear the wave as fast as, as, fast as possible. Maybe not go for the kills, but if they can get the kills, go for it. Just poke their opponents and get the objectives. They will take out the turtle this time. No trades from Onyx Esports whatsoever as they will have to play so passively in this game. Well, I mean, let's see how passive it's really going to get here. Because, you know, we know for a fact that Onyx Esports will be, you know, extra passive. They know that they've got some great scaling on their side. But Blacklist International, are they going to take the initiative here? Because, I mean, Haji has been, uh, he's been getting these killer instincts online very early on. But what I do want to talk about is, okay, the items, again, we've just started. Again, there's not, not going to be a lot to talk about right now, but I want to talk about the Nathan in the jungle. Yeah. All right, Wolf, Nathan in the jungle, this is one of the heroes that you put into B tier yeah. in your tier list. You've actually said that the Nathan is much better in the gold lane. I agree. Why do you think that Onik is still trying to play this in the jungle? Why do you think that Onik PH also did the same thing? Yeah, this is really just a style for both the Onik squads. They love farming. And they know that they can get by with their macro play. It is in the B tier because it's easy to contest. As you saw from Blacklist International, they already are trying to be aggressive against it, Nathan. And oh. now, oh my god. Yeah, speaking of aggressive, CW gonna get punished so hard as they give the kill over to Oheb here. Good setup coming in from Oh My Venus. And you know, Haji making sure, keep, like LaFell said, keep it simple. Yeah. Guarantee these kills even if you have to use big resources. The CW was able to clear the minion wave, by the way. So that's, mm -hmm. that's also a play that you have to look when you go for the kills. Surely you'll get the kills, but you'll, they will not be able to convert into a push. So with all due fairness from CW, he took what he can get that time. Well, speaking of which, Sans not taking a good amount of damage. Already used the Entropy. The super position does do a lot of damage, but so far he hasn't built his first item yet. So we're still waiting for more. That is just not not good right now for the side of Onyx Esports. 1.2 thousand gold lead for the side of Blacklist International. And Onyx, look at Sans. He's zoned oh! away! Oh my god! Edward finds it, but here comes the refrag. Immediately we are seeing Drian take him oh, okay. out. And oh, okay, he also okay. takes the purple buff at the same time. Very nicely done. Okay, okay, Drian came out to play. So far, um, back to back games with the Farsa. Still is a big lead for Blacklist International, but this is as we expected it will be. Now, Wise is going to be able to take out the turtle. the turtle. Second one, 
at just 4 minutes and 22 seconds. Oh, wait, Venus gets pulled all the way under that turret, and Keyboy, he might be looking for a re-engage here. Oh, oh, there we go, Keyboy, he flickers under, and oh. with the Holy Baptist, he gets the flicker out of Oh My Venus as well. Good trade of resources. That was really, really good for Onyx Esports, able to bait some fights, and now Oheb is going to be zoned away. Haji, though, we oh. know how lethal he is on this. Just him doing moves is making me scared, man. <laughs> I am. This is, he's not connecting onto anything, but I was just like, oh, God, not again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you just yeah. see the G couldn't do it, you're just shaking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just keep on looking at his flicker, and please don't be out, please don't <laughs> be out. <laughs> well, it's not out just yet, that's why Onyx Esports tried to make a move on, on top, and I'm going to get a replay. Oh, oh no, no, the timing! Oheb, is he surviving? Is he alive? Okay, okay. okay. Oheb is alive with one HP there, but looking back at this replay so far, yeah. Edward just doing really good job. And you can see how fast he just times it well. Yeah. So pixel perfect. Yep. See that um, actually with the turtle buff under the Kimi, the ultimate was quite strong, and Boots now might be stepping into a bad spot. <laughs> and it reads into the situation. Okay, all right, a bit of a, a bit of a potential bait there, but so far this purple buff, oh. uh, it's a little tough to be attained. Drian going to be drawing the line in the sand. Maximum impact doesn't steal it either, but CW again getting punished on that top side is Haji and Oheb working hand in hand. Keep them occupied in the jungle and will snip off their gold laner. Haji is just so annoying on this show, and now you really understand why people have just been banning or yeah. picking it away from him. He is lethal on it. You can see he doesn't miss a beat every time that flicker is up. He's always doing something, and in the bottom side as well, Onik losing on all fronts. Big lead for uh, Blacklist International at six minutes in. They are going to get the, the turret up top with Ohim just pushing Red out, so everybody's just winning destroyed. inside of Blacklist International. Big win condition for Onik Esports is to drag this game out and get the items onto Boots, get the attacking items for the Esmeralda, and then get the damage items for both Sands as well as CW. Maybe they can uh, weather the storm and take it to the late game, but if they're not careful, oh, Keyboy, by the way, very nice move from Keyboy to delay this. But instead, he might be punished. Mm, uh, okay, he seems to be good. He's still holding up his holy healing for the right time. They're going to be sacrificing this turtle for bottom tier one. And I mean, overall, Blue these trades are okay, the but they're turtle. getting a little bit more in terms of map control inside of Onyx. That's going to be a turtle slain destroyed. here by the STB. Radiant Armor being purchased by Oh My Venus. Seven yeah. minutes now. They want to go for the mid lane push. Ooh, the classic. Uh, the 1v1 is going great, but look at the mid, uh, if we look over uh, to the mid lane here, you can tell that, you know, Blacklist, they really want to crack open this mid tier one. Yeah, the, the thing is for Onik right now, with the compositions, they are literally just waiting for the scaling to, to pop, yes. right? They're just waiting for the power spikes. It is going to be a little bit more time until we see those items come up, but until then, it's no. really smart what they're doing. Even though they're 4 to 1 and the turrets are, and objectives have just been in favor of Blacklist, they have been able to actually equalize in the turrets, and now another fight goes in a little bit only. Ooh. But yeah, Onik, this is what they need to do. Just keep on trading until you hit those power spikes. Then. When you get those items, when you get those levels, just yep. pull the trigger. Keyboy opted to go for the Radiant Armored for Armor first. Red and with Onyx Esports focusing their efforts into the mid lane, they have lost their turret in the bottom lane. And look at already Haji as well. So oh, they're preparing for the pincer maneuver. Eventually, if Sons will go for the kill, but of course, Haji will just have to commit the ultimate this time. Yep, uh, this time they're not going to get any punishment on CW, but here comes the Feather Air Strike once again by Drian to make sure that they are, are going to zone off. Maximum <laughs> Impact gets eaten by Keyboy so far, but it's already past the seven minutes. I'm waiting for the Blacklist, uh, you know, are, are they going to be turned up or what? Yeah. Dude, Wise is level 12 to Sans is level 10. This is just going really well. Even if you scale on it, Blacklist have Wise here to basically answer that late game with Oheb as well. And right now, sure, Onik, they are getting some trades. They are getting some gold back and some pressure back. But in the end, honestly, if they're getting outscaled by the Kimi, it's not, not going to be good either way. No. And bonus gold can be taken by Blacklist International as the turtle will spawn in five seconds. This will be the fourth turtle. Again, this happens only if you're taking the turtle so quickly that every two minutes you refresh it and you focus on it. This is so much free gold that they, they are taking because this is not something that you can get out of the map from the minions, right? So Blacklist International further increasing their lead this time and at nine Blue minutes they want to group up the to the turtle. middle. Oh, Haji, he's finding one and he gets on top of Keyboy here. Maximum impact already being used as well, but it's going to be an instant 
the kill coming up. Oh, who has Renner right now. Boots down some trouble. Feather Dash Strike being held up still. FB's already been popped up in the super position as well. He's got oh, the, the stats, but the turret goes down. Good siege coming in from Blacklist International. Ooh, CW uses the recoil trap to actually lock down Edward, getting a good trade against CW so far. Beautiful by Blackness International. That siege was amazing. The way that they baited that feather airstrike as well. Haji yeah. again. Oh, this man, now I know. Now you know. MVP machine. Yeah, 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 for sure. He's definitely the MVP right now, man. Oh my god, it's just so scary. Again, I'm just keep, I keep on looking at this flicker because every time he has it, he just makes things happen. Well, next play coming in in about 78 more seconds here as Onyx is forced to group up. They refuse to let go of any tier oh. twos across the map, but CW can only do so much. Edward, the moment he cracks his, he wants to go on CW. I know it. Right, he so wants it. Come on, do it. No, it's going to be Sans and CW who zone him away. Good read here. As oh. the only baptism on towards. Okay. They punish the jungler instead. All right, finally they're on the board. Some, you know, somewhere they're able to get a pick up onto Wise. That's going to be really, really good, giving some time for Sans to scale back up. But now, finally, let's take a look at the items. Sans has that Blade of Despair yep. and that Hunter's Fury, whereas Wise already has a Glowing and Ice Queen Wand plus that Athena Shield to add more onto the defense. And this is just really scary because oh they do so goodness. much damage and they're just so, so tanky as well. Feather Airstrike won't be a problem whatsoever. Wow. Oheb just took, okay, he took the hit from it, but if we look in terms of the damage, Rian recently yeah. purchasing his winter, uh, sorry, his lightning truncheon as well. He should be doing a little bit more, but the Athena yep. shield already complete from Oheb. It's right, which allows for the defense so that he can really just man up and maybe take some hits before going down or before having to use his rollout. By the way, Oheb has been phenomenal with his sniper from back-to-back -back games. Also using it to actually siege from a distance where the turret will not be able to reach him. And I think that this is the time where you say Beatrix 2 OP. Wait, deja vu. They're going back in. Haji is looking for opportunities as they've already used. Oh, wait, hold on. Holy Baptism locking him down just Blue in time. I was expecting him to destroyed. flicker, but no, we don't see it. Blacklist back away. Good defense coming in from Onyx Esports despite the engagement from Oh My Venus. Yeah, that was really, really uh, scary for a second for Blacklist International. Bla uh, you know, Venus. Haji. He went in. Oh, Haji oh. fights and he fights. Sans and it's too late. He's already down. Even the feathered airstrike won't be able to do much here. As you see, Edward going into the back line and punching Jian out of position. Oh my, Venus cannot capitalize more on this, but a good, good fight for the side of the Blacklist International. Oh, oh, oh. Haji, the MVP machine, as he's called. But this show is just so scary. And like I said, this is played in the oh mid lane role, God. okay? This is not a roaming show. So he's eventually going to get items. Mm -hmm. And right now, one, zero, and four. Five out of the six kills of Blacklist International were with him. And just like that, Blacklist International waited for the 12 minute mark to attack the Lord this time. And Haji already positioning himself. This will be an easy Lord take for Blacklist unless Onyx Esports tries. Well, Boots is going to get hit by the Circle Eagle Tree and gets knocked out of oh! his feather airstrike. Boots manages to hold strong. Lord is taken away by Y so far, but now they want to capitalize on the situation. He boy is holding and being the holy healing, but now Onyx Esports back away entirely. Once they don't have that feather airstrike, it is tough. But can they open up mid tier one? Yes, they're going to crack it open Blue just in time. Maximum destroyed. impact does not connect. That was really good for Onyx Esports. Even though Blacklist International got the Lord, they know. You know, Onyx, they, they understand. Oh, you use all your resources onto the Lord. Let's try to go for something right now. Even though Boots was taken really low, he knows exactly that, okay, Blacklist, they can't kill me. With the help of the Raphaela healing, with that Holy Baptism as well, locking them down, I can get the Falling Star Moon very, very easily. But, Drian, this is why Haji... Stop, stop, Haji, stop. This is just so, so scary. Every time he's in a bush, every time he's just somewhere on the map, you know something Ooh. is going to happen. And Onyx, they need to now understand Understand that this can keep on happening if they keep on doing this. Sans and CW and Drian, these three members, please play behind. Do not show yourself until oh. Haji has made a move. Oh, here we go. Luminous Lord going to be crashing in towards uh, the top inhibitor here. He goes down relatively fast. Good high ground defense so far. But Haji, three more seconds until his worker comes back up. And then you know what's going to happen here. Is the tier twos are going to be going down. Boots still standing in the front line, making sure that he's blocking as many shots while he is still alive. We don't see much happening for Blacklist International. They're not going to engage. By the way, Haji actually also picked up the Rome boots. So this is a double Rome set up coming up from Blacklist International. I would imagine that they picked it up, picked this up once after the nine minute mark, which means that Haji can go for another maybe conceal. Mm -hmm. Or perhaps, perhaps they put the conceal on Haji and the favor onto Oh My Venus. Yeah, that can, be the case. Sure. that can be the case. But again, Onyx Esports' draft, this is where they shine, right? The defense. 
Uh, they, they noticed in game number one, they were just getting out. Uh, the team fights were just not going in their favor. So now in this game with the draft, they want to play for the defense. It's very similar to the game against Onyx PH in Group B. Let's see if they're able to pull off the sim a similar comeback here. But at this point, it's very one-dimensional. But at least right now, they have scale. Yep, and now Boots is going to be getting on top of Oheb so far. He's still chasing him down, but Oh My Venus is going to pull him away with guiding winds on the eSports, looking for any sort of opportunities. But even Falling Star Moon does not connect on anybody. Edward looking on top of Boots. He's already got the KO strike. We're seeing sense. He's already dropped his entry just in case Boots needs help. He's going to be able to take his orange buff so far, and even the maximum impact doesn't come off in oh. time. But Boots now getting absolutely shredded by wise by the chemical reaction so far. Going to get topped off once again by Keyboy. This is just so tense, man. 3,000 only for Blackwoods International. They have the turret lead and that lord lead. I mean, they have everything on the board right now, but still, Onyx Esports managing them somehow make this close, fighting back. But honestly, their composition, they scale up. Now with CW, Boots, Drian, and Sans having those items, this might be the time where they can try to look for some comebacks. They've traded really well up until this point, only, you know, losing one turret, basically, uh, on Blackwoods International. Oh, this is... Look at this! This is where you say, oh. Why is this allowed? Oh, huh. Why is this allowed? Well, the game allows it, so... Yeah, I, I, I guess it's, it's one of those things where you're like, I oh, guess it's legal, but now Boots coming in already using his ultimate to get on top of Y so far to try and zone them away here. Not but really. Aji, all by himself, oh. he, he loses his immortality here. They go oh. punch and Keyboy gets on top of him already with the Holy Baptism. Oh, him out of position now. Trian finds the Edward, 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 Edward. Here, but Edward, he's pushing out on top of the top uh, bottom inhibitor. Actually, there's going to be two on the recall. What? That was beautiful. Again, on eSports, they've been playing to their drafts perfectly. Sure, they have been losing out on the gold in and everything, basically, in the early stages. But that's what their composition was built for. This is a scaling comp. As long yes. as we are able to trade, wait up until those power spikes. This is what I mentioned. I set this up, and this is exactly what happened. They are playing it smart. They're playing it through the drafts. And now, look, the tides are starting to shift. That's always the question. When is the time where you can say that on the eSports now have got the advantage? So far, 16 minutes in, around the 18-minute mark, and maybe around the 23 minute mark most importantly that it is dead even when it comes to the goal already the lead doesn't matter and it means that Onyx Esports will have the better firepower the real question is their tackiness their sustain is it already scaled up because that's one oh. thing that they also need to solve against Blacklist well here we go Edward looking for some angles here men are doing some good damage on towards CW so far but now they're going to commit to it Haji is going to get locked oh, down in place he's done it Keyboy locked it up with the Holy Baptism and now they're going in oh. CW doing some good damage with Oheb and Nibiru's passion already finding one on top of CW so far but this fight is over Onyx Esports find what they were looking for Blacklist International is on the run Oh my god, we expected a banger and we're gonna get it, man. The Lord <laughs> taken away for three members. And look, on Esports, they might be going for this. They might be going for the inhibitor turret. Sure, they have the Lord, but oh, there you go. There the you bombardment go. comes in and that is the feather airstrike pop. Yeah, but they do have the defense, right? It's Ohead. Nine seconds and eight seconds. Haji will be there as well as Wise. And it is very unlikely that Onyx Esports will get any push at all. Now they have to answer the big minions that's running through top and the bottom lane. And now it's dead even. It's going to be a question on who gets the better initiation nowadays. Or maybe the better itemization. No, honestly, it's not. It's not. I don't think it's uh, longer. I, I don't really think it's going to be that anymore, man. <laughs> I don't think it's the engage or the items or anything. Onyx have simply just outscaled Blacklist International. What Blacklist uh, needs to do is play the macro, all right? They need to play with the pressure that they already have. If not, if they just go for the 5v5s that, again, this is Blacklist style, 5v5. I don't think they're gonna win. They need to get very specific, yes. win, like very specific catches to be able to win these team fights. Yeah, you know why? Because all of the uh, magic defense is already up for Onyx Esports, and that means that the Kimi will not deal as much damage. And yeah. for Oheb, if he, they don't find the opening for Oheb, I mean, look at Onyx Esports. The moment they find Oheb, Boots will be there. So far, I would say the most phenomenal play uh, gameplay so far has been coming up from Boots. Yes. Even yeah. at the, you know, I just can't. The math doesn't check out. I mean, he's been doing so well in this game despite them training so heavily. And guess what? Boots hasn't died yet. He in only has three assists, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's tough to Boots. see. But here we go. Boots trying to open up the map so far. He's dancing oh, so hard. Oh, the seal coming in from Onik. Maybe this could be a potential flicker coming in from Keyboy. Nope. He's just going to back off. Oh you know, in God. Indonesia, a lot of the... You know, the Indonesian fans basically called on Esports Boots Esports for the regular <laughs> season. The fact of the matter is, this man 
He's the regular season MVP in MPLID, and you can finally see why. He starts to shine when his team need his, needs him the most, and right now, he is literally the core in this team, right? Sure, the most damage won't come from him, but he is going to be... Everyone's playing yeah. around him. He is the frontliner, he's the sole one, able to engage, able to make these plays and set up for his team. He's the anchor, definitely, for Arnic Esports. And not only that, in the early stages, when you saw the Blacklist International was just leading and controlling the map, he didn't die while also taking care of the minion waves! He can reach why is now in some trouble here? He's on the run, and we're here to kind of heal him off of their airstrike. He's going to be complete so far with the entropy already coming out, but you can see that the maximum impact, it's starting to shred, and it's going to come to a point where it's going to be consistent bombardment from it. Oh that was insane, honestly. Me. Very scary. CW still able to run away with a flicker. Actually, the immortality has not been popped yet, but Blacklist in that fight as well. Haji and Edward, they got a really good pick. And as you can see, it still didn't work, right? Oh, the, the healing is too much, but wait a minute. Conceal. Oh, oh, but oh, they Onyx, oh they're defense. expecting this! They're looking for it, but Sans, he's gonna get locked oh, down now. Does he make it out? He's trolling! No, Boots. he's alive! He manages to pull on through! Dream with a feather and strike, so the rest of the office. Sans, Edward, the way. Make it, but Sans still is alive! Haji is gonna be the first to what? fall. His immortality is already broken Haji here. He's gonna be going Haji over. Haji they fight two Haji for Haji. nothing. His boots still on the run. I Happy feet! Combo combo, Sans! What Sans. was that? Oh, Holy, that was beautiful, man! Beautiful footwork coming out from Sans, actually dodging every single thing that Edward throw in him, and he survived the initial initiation. He still has got the immortality, and now Boots as well as the gang there on the run. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's gonna be the Holy Baptism already on so Blacklist International. Destroyed. Have to defend the maximum impact. Lands on towards Sans' side. He's getting confident. He's getting very cocky. Oh! And here comes Boots, <laughs> going straight <laughs> in with a falling star. Moondrian is with a feathered airstrike, blowing the front line up, and they go for the finish! Onyx Esports pull it to game three! GG! Well played! Happy Feet Sans, oh baby! Goodness. What was that? That was insane! He literally just danced his way! That was tap dancing, man! Oh, pixel perfect! Even there's just a little bit of opening from where Edward will be able to find the knockup, but he dodged that, and wonderfully well. The way that they position themselves, they know exactly that the Blacklist International wanted to get a kill onto Sands and they were prepared for it. Sands stood his ground. Eventually, the help was there. Boots was phenomenal with their initiations and everybody was stepping up. You know what's surprising? Oh. They finally yelled. They finally exactly. screamed. There's emotions. They have emotions. They're human. <laughs> They're human. They're, They're humans. Humans. <laughs> They're not <laughs> robots programmed in Indonesia Whoa. to take the throne. But man, now it's the flip. Look at the faces of Blacklist oh. International. They are not in a good spot right now. 1-1. This is exactly what happened against BTK. Exactly.